Operation Darkness. Should I be warned about anything in this game? Uh, blood. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I can't say there's excessive gore. I mean, there's zombies and skeletons and stuff, but there's not like someone's arm got to get it blown off or anything weird like that. Oh. No decapitation <laughs> or. Not to my knowledge. <laughs> I'll, I'll be blunt, I've never actually finished this game. Oh, so there'll be aspects of it that'll be new to you. Yeah, like, I've gotten through a good portion of it, and then I think I got uh, stuck on one level because it was a real pain in the butt, and I would had to actually, like, run at it multiple times to see what happens kind of thing. And I don't like having to do that, so I think my patience just ran out at that point. And this was when I was Fair. younger, too, so, you know... I was a little shit. So how much do you remember of this? Like, when was the last time you played it? Uh... <laughs> Eight, ten years ago-ish? <laughs> okay. So we're both going to be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it, it's been a while. I see. Anyway, I guess we just start with a new game. Why not? Oh, right, we can name our main character. I forgot Edward. about that. Name him Beavis. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> do you got a problem with Beavis? Wait, how many, how Just... many like, texts do we have? Can we give him a last name, too? No, he has a last name that everyone will be referring to him as. Oh, it's one of those things, I see. Yeah, like, we could choose his first name for silliness sake, but everyone is going to never call him this. I mean, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I guess Beavis works if we want. So, B-E-E-B-U-S. In all caps. <laughs> I mean, if I had a friend called Beavis, I feel like I would probably call him by his last name in public, you know? Yeah, that's that's fair. Area. Plus, with the decisions this man makes, this name may be appropriate. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting a lot of edgy vibes. Oops, sorry, cutscene. Oops. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, there's subtitles for, like, every cutscene, so we can technically talk as much as we want. Look at all these characters that we'll see. Girl. Other guy. Guy with beard. Guy with beanie? Have they repeated some of the characters the here? Nope, none of them. The yes, of that all of those are characters we get eventually. Oh, no. Am I gonna have to remember names? <laughs> no. Can I just do what I do when I normally play games and just give everyone nicknames? Yes, trust me, some of them are going to be easy to nickname. And mass unemployment. As national despair increases, the doors open wide to invite in a new government. So Mr. Subtitle Man, or narrator, is uh, just, you know, Operation doing the whole end of darkness. World War One. Yeah, we're, we're just getting the rundown. Uh, warning, Hitler. You know, I didn't expect there to be, like, actual footage. <laughs> yeah, like, they put a lot of effort into this. It's surprising. It was giving me, like, Trails vibe for the opening, and then now we just have, like, actual World War II footage. Yeah. Okay. The German forces advanced through Poland with their Blitzkrieg tactics, and soon gained control of the entire country by the end of September. Never underestimate the Panzer Corps. the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, and France. Meanwhile, Italy and Japan begin their own military campaigns and form a pact with Nazi Germany. Yes, actual historically accurate so far. Want to know how long that, you know, keeps? I imagine, like, as soon as we're in it, like, maybe a minute. 
I mean, it kind of mostly stays historically accurate. There's just certain parts where it's like, really. Is this? We're trying to kill Hitler, right? Is it like I mean, the, we're... You know, like the games where you just kill a bunch of Nazis and it's okay because you're killing the Nazis? Is that is that is that the way? It kind of yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're 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 on the side of the Allies. We, we technically play as a British detachment, if I remember right. Everyone's accent are going to be very British. Oh, I imagine this is like 2000s voice acting where it's uh, it's a thing. It brings me great joy. I miss it sometimes. Mm -hmm. Ah, the Opa shoots. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get right into the thick of it. He jumped. According to the latest SIS report, Rommel and the Africa Corps are planning a surprise attack. Behind these rocks is their dispatch unit. Our objective is to get in there and steal Why do some have hats and some don't? It's going to be a Can you guess which characters are important? The ones with all hats? Correct. Right. Maya, Baxter, and Clark on the left flank. Take out those machine guns and cover their escape route. I have a feeling those guys are not going to make it through this. Frost and Kyle, you'll all be with me. We'll Frost. Flank. Get your grenades ready, man. Take them down in one quick strike. Now, make sure you spread out and don't give them an easy target. We need to move at the same time, so everyone wait for my count. Dude, the rotation ready? is making me dizzy. Three, two, don't worry. Attack! What are you shooting at? That man in particular. <laughs> the poor guy. Okay, there's more. There's this is this is this is had to load in, you know. What, yeah, what were yo, those four guys the... doing behind that tent? Hey yeah. man, <laughs> communal bathroom break. You know, whatever you know, whatever to relieve stress, I guess. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. Beavis. Yes, yes, yes. You can use cover. You can loot dead bodies. It's going to give me tutorials for every action here, so I'm just going to get them all out of the way. Did you know you can move? Also, shooting people is a thing. Yeah, there's I... hit accuracy and damage. Don't worry about it. XCOM, JRPG, and then, you know, like, two other games. Yep. There's also oh. cover actions, but I'm not going to be doing much of any of those. I'm just getting the tutorials out of the way. Well, I say I'm not going to be doing much of them. Dude, I'm, I'm not doing them now. I'm happy I'm not playing this because all this information is overloading my brain. Yeah, I'm glad I remember most of it. It seems like fairly simple stuff, but at the same time... Yeah, everything's going to be horribly out of range, so I'm just going to... I will actually use one of the cover actions. Cover move is hilariously convenient, where you can just kind of... Uh, oh, shit. I don't know which one of these guys is which. They all look the friggin' same on the turn order. <sighs> lovely, lovely. They have matching hats, um, man. It's a, it's a fashion statement. It sure is. I'll move when Sergeant Frost does. What cover move does is it lets you move way further than you normally would be allowed to move, but you move when the other character that you're cover moving with moves. I see. So, like, the moment he moves, I also will move. Unfortunately, it looks like I picked the dude... Oh, no, he did move. Good. And here's the other guy we have, which uh, I will not bother with the cover move because... Lancelot. Eh... Yeah, Jude Lancelot. He's our childhood best friend character. Oh, I see. Is he gonna, like, tragically die to... No. Oh. God, it's not that dark yet. Anyway, observe as he fires at someone. 60%'s not bad. Yeah, he oh got Oh my it. god! 
<laughs> the poor and man. That'll trigger the first cutscene. Oh no, it's a sniper. Sorry, he was just bit still finishing up behind the, you know, the tent, you know. And he notices the dude who's important and shoots it. Oh. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Yeah, that's British for you. Lieutenant, you all right? Sergeant, the lieutenant's down. Yeah, you'll you might recognize the main character's voice. He does a lot of video game work. It sounds so familiar. Yeah. Damn it, he's not gonna make it. Hold on, sir. We're going to get you some help. Like, they honestly got some rather, like, good high-tier voice actors for the game. It's honestly surprising. It's too late, he's dead. So we No! Come on, let's go. Not the lieutenant. Oh no, the lieutenant. What are we ever supposed to do? What, when did that guy get a bazooka? Oh no! Well, that man's dead. <laughs> I. Oh no, the lieutenant. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. Gonna, uh, don't mind me, lieutenant. Just gonna... just gonna borrow your Thompson. It is better than my base gun. Oh, he even has a grenade. Might as well just, you know, loot everything he has. We'll leave his dog tags. We don't want to, you know, return those. We we just leave him on his body. We don't need him. I'm sure we'll recover his body, right? Uh, sure. His family and Anyways. loved ones can, you know. I still want to be cautious with the main character, because if he dies or if Jude dies, it's game over. Anyway, uh... I can ditch the Sten that is like garbage in this game and pick up a Thompson, which is way better. And I can just start opening fire with it. Back foot. Not that I am accurate at the moment, but it's fine. They're inaccurate too. See, look at that. We're just horribly inaccurate. Why did they decide to just like when they show the like animations of them shooting, it's always like a Dutch angle that rotates up. Yeah, I don't understand, <laughs> but, like, they did a lot of dramatic, it's like... It's so hard shooting. to tell what's okay. happening. Not that 80%. Foot. That's not bad. Do you think his... Nah. You know, I know I know that's short for Foot Soldier, but I like to imagine it's his last name. I'm just curious if he would... Yes. He likes feet, or that's just he got, you know, that was just thrown on him at the beginning, you know? I mean, if you oh, no, name the main foot... getting shot. Oh, oh shit, the main is getting shot a lot. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, the main character's gonna need to heal on his turn. I hope you know what's happening, because I have no idea. Uh, yeah, it's the first mission, so the objectives are just kill everyone. You don't have to worry about it. You outnumber the enemy, like, a bajillion to one, effectively. Yeah, let's get rid of their heavy gunner with our heavy gunner. Come on, Jude. Yeah, 60%. That's good enough. So violent. Oh, good. You killed a man. Level up. Yeah, everyone has levels in this game. The beginning levels will all look like this, where you barely get any stats, and it is sad and depressing. Oh. But as you get higher levels, the leveling becomes more... Eh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it gets, like, Crazy. incrementally exponential. I see. Yeah, I'm just gonna apply med kit to myself, because I don't like getting shot. Is that how you level up in life? By committing murder? Does that mean I'm still level I, one? I don't know. Or two? Maybe? I don't know. I've never tested it. No. Oh, no! I mean, I mean uh, I don't know that guy's name, but I'm just going to call him Lyle. Let's go with Lyle. Lyle's God, dead. Lyle, I loved him so much. <laughs> Are you ready for vast overkill? Look how close I am to this man. Ah, yeah, 100% accuracy. Oh, God, God this is going to be like an execution. Uh, yeah, effectively. 
It didn't have to dramatically. Ah, oh, he fell into barbed wire. Ooh. That was actually the least dramatic death that we've had so far. Like, that wasn't as violent, I would say. Oh, I can't get around. Oh, I have to go this way. Rude. Where is that guy? Is he just like. This okay, he's sniper, standing behind right? some oil barrels. Ew. He's in cover. That makes him harder to hit. Which is rude of him. Yeah, see, I can't even shoot him right now. That's just rude. Can you check a grenade? Can you just, like, lob a grenade forever? He's even away? out of grenade range. Aww. Damn. That's just rude. I can't even do anything to yeah, you. Yeah, it's so rude. Oh. <laughs> I've never just hit finish yet. By the way, this ends the person's turn. Wow. That's good to know. Harry right. Nelson's gonna take pot shots. Oh, hey, he hit him. Good shot. Good shot. <laughs> Stop shooting me. Ow. Uh. Ooh. Who do I want to loot? Do I want to loot my friendly Baxter or the Duckfoot? Well. What? The Germans don't have anything good on them yet, so I think I'll loot Baxter. I think he had a good gun on him. No, he just had a Sten. I am betrayed. How could you do this to me, Baxter? We had a deal. I will take out my rate. Well, damn. Jude, you're just you getting all deal. the kills early on. A deal? <laughs> that, what, he would die and you would just loot him? <laughs> sure. Oh, he fell into the trench. Kind of. Ah, the map. We're underneath the world now. <laughs> Mission complete. It's because he fell into the trench, isn't it? I I can't say I've seen it do that Wait, before. Wait, so we have, like, the POV of the dude that's dead in the trench on Mission Complete? Uh, apparently, yeah, because <laughs> it panned off from that. Anyway, uh, Mission Complete. Uh, check our ammo. Uh, yes. Oh, balls. That's friendly, right? Nope. Hurry! Get behind those rocks! What happened to the other guys? Well, we were smart and ran to cover. Our, uh, friends? They're trying no. to shoot a tank with, you know, small arms fire. Spoilers. It doesn't go well. Well, um... It's only a I think we're on our own. Jude, do you have any grenades? No, I'm all out, mate. Well, then I guess we're done for. Damn that intel unit. Think they could have mentioned they had a bloody tank? What now? Does our main character have a bowl cut? Kinda. What the hell just happened? Did someone like ricochet the what? Uh, don't worry, it exploded. But how? It just it shot. It showed it shooting out of the barrel. It was going to. But the reinforcements Reinfor have a three bazooka. guys. <laughs> I can't believe you survived. And he jigged it. Bloody me. Ugh. Oh no, main character. Talk to me. Come on, dude. Help me, dude. It's not that bad, mate. You'll be fine. I'm in shot. Help me. Stop sitting! I have med kits in my pack. Help me! Yeah, several. You were like ten feet away, sir. Did you not see this happen? What's going on? Oh, they don't really have ear protection. I'm assuming their ears are like god after oh, shooting that bazooka yeah. right next to them. <laughs> There's just screaming. I'll see what I can do. Hey, Frank. Pass me that field kit. What's his blood type? It's A, sir. Good. So am I. That'll make this a lot easier. Keith, grab the blood transfusion. Is this man a vampire? Are we? Oh my God! Look at that fucking hair. He's right. We have not Looks like a Street Fighter character. He really does. <laughs> we can't let him die. I understand, but in the event his body rejects the transfusion, I'll take responsibility. We can't let him die, but those three other ones that are screaming in pain from the fragmentation. Hey, they got, 
They got hit by a tank. There's no saving them. I they only didn't got get hit directed. Shot. All four of them jumped out of the way in the cutscene. They might just be, you know, fragments just embedded in them. Ugh. We're also <laughs> going to ignore the fact that, you know, I was tanking multiple wallet shots earlier. It's fine. But that's a pistol. It's a different... Mm. <gasps> Girl's name? Yes. Dove interest? Girl's name. There's, uh, there's girls in this world? Beavis. Well, look who's finally awake. Is this fully voice acted? Yeah, uh, amusingly. Like I said, wow. they got, like, high-end voice actors, and it's all voice acted. That's, like, very rare for, like, an Xbox 360 game. It's usually just, like, the cutscenes. Where? Yeah, normally. Where am I? You're in a hospital in Cairo. You've Why am I since you went down in a stock photo? I remember getting hit, but after that, how long have I been out? Five days. Do you not remember crying in pain for your mom days. and your dad? I recover so quickly. Oh, also, yeah, he's recovering from a bullet wound in five days, which is, uh, uh, needless to say, unnatural. In the 19, what, late 1930s? <laughs> 1942, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you remember those lads who saved us? Well, they helped me carry you to the first aid tent before they went back to the front line. I see. That was conveniently right around the corner. Gallant. Major Gallant of the British Special Forces. That's all. I wasn't aware a squadron like that existed. Hmm. Maybe it's some sort of covert operations unit. But what would they be doing out here? Man, maybe they're a covert operations unit who operates in the darkness. Hmm. hmm. Nah, never mind. That's ridiculous. Uh-oh. We're back! Hey. We're Nothing back. happening. It's this. This we were here the entire time. Nothing. Yeah. And, yeah. We're back. <laughs> yeah. And the doctor was amazed how quickly the main character recovered. I yeah, mean, five it, days. It bullet. Is. Whoa. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really. Yeah. He said the gunshot wound you suffered starting to close up, and something like that usually takes three weeks to heal. Yeah. No so, shit. <laughs> you know. Nothing weird. Yeah. I must have had one hell of a surgeon. Yeah, yeah, that's well, how that works. Yet, so take it easy and get some rest. I'll be back tomorrow morning to see how you're doing. Jude has a massive forehead. I just like to yes, point that out. Does. Like his hairline is not doing him any any service no, to I'm cover so that massive <laughs> forehead. I got shot like twenty times. <gasps> huh? Girl? Question marks. Girl in the army? Impossible. I received word from Cordelia that the what, was, what was that? Was she just in the room staring at him? What? Yeah, that was Cordelia. She was checking in. Okay. They didn't really make that clear. She was just there. <laughs> he isn't out of the woods just yet. Keith, your smile disturbs me. Your apprehension, Keith. But he's going to be fine. His situation is no different than Lewis and Cynthia's. They also got shot. Well, we'll just have to wait until the period many of times. Out. But either way, I think we should place those two under our supervision, Jim. I agree. In fact, I've already contacted Colonel Starling and requested an immediate transfer. They should be receiving their PCS orders in a couple of weeks. Okay. He won't show any immediate signs, but eventually his body will begin to change. So we'll need to inform him. He will go through puberty. I don't know why they let a 12-year-old. Keith. Take Cordelia on the front lines, the but... And escort. We'll do, Major. Vampire puberty? It's been two weeks since I was injured on the battlefield. I've since been released from hospital, and I'm now returning to SAS Regimental Headquarters. Headquarters is normally located in Hereford, about three hours by train from London. Okay. Well, the entire SAS unit is currently stationed here in North Africa, so HQ has been temporarily relocated to Cairo. Upon arriving at headquarters, I'm immediately ordered to report to Colonel Starling, my commanding officer. Jude and I wait for him in his office. I can't understand why the colonel would want to meet with a squaddy like me. In I fact, wonder why. I'm surprised he even remembered me. Pad, it's almost like something important happened recently. Maybe he's decided 
there's no point in keeping me around since I got injured in my first taste of battle. That was our Maybe first time. Send me home. Yeah, that was the first time they were in combat. They were the wow. only two that live. Out of like five guys, which is not. Well, I guess there was more. Oh, we had like there was nine. Like seven. At ease, gentlemen. To be fair, our strategy was to stand out in an open field and, and fire. <laughs> yeah, not the best tactics. The we beat those Italians pretty bad. But when the Germans began sending reinforcements, mm -hmm. we lost some ground. The situation here has been turning in our favor over the past few weeks, though. General Montgomery's operations have been largely successful, and I think we may push them back yet. You should be pleased to know that thanks to you and your unit's efforts, we've acquired advanced information on Rommel's counter-attack. Okay. Yes, we were attacking an intel station, Rommel effectively. Came at a great cost. Your platoon suffered heavy losses, and I understand you yourself were near death when Major Gallant found you. I'm sorry, is like seven guys heavy losses for a platoon? Now that you've been I feel I like mean, that would be normal. You would normally be returning <laughs> is that bad? <laughs> However, I received a special also, I love this man's Major voice. Gallant, I want him to read me today, bedtime stories. It's a shame this is the only cutscene he's in. I know, I figured that it's just one of the other voice actors that was like, hey, do you want to, like, voice this random dude? Do whatever voice. They're here to escort you to your new They're here to escort you. Good day, man. I'm Lieutenant Keith Miller. And I'm Lance Corporal Cordelia Blake. Girl. Colonel Stalling is just What is the metal thing on her chest? Joining K Company, first platoon. The what? Like, wait, wait until she comes back. She has, like, this metal device that is hanging over her, like, right boob. And I don't know what it is. <laughs> so what kind of unit do you think we are, Corporal? Is that? What is um, that? If I had to guess, because it has, like, a little like a lamb coming from it, <laughs> I'd say it's, like, some kind of radio device. But it's so weird. And why would the wire go into her clothing? Man, I don't know. My apologies, sir. I'm it allows me to listen to your thoughts. Just worried about I too now know the morning. exposition. I still want to fight on the front lines. You listen here. Cordelia is an excellent soldier, and I would entrust her with my life on the battlefield. You will several times. Is she the man? Kind of bullshit. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Trust me, you'll you'll see the medic later. Do we get to command werewolves? I want a werewolf. Later. Dependent of our main unit, although it performs similar operations. Occasionally, though, K Company is assigned special missions on direct orders from the Prime Minister, such as the infiltration of enemy-held territory. So then, we'll be reporting directly to Prime Minister Churchill. That's as much of a promotion as you could possibly ask for. That is correct. And for that reason, K Company's missions are demanding and greatly. Yes, yeah, so you've been shot on the battlefield, so we decided to promote you and send you back to get shot again. I don't know why James. I'm sure you'll recover, so that's fine. Recruits such as yourselves. However, I expect you to live up to the reputation. What is this accent supposed to be? Like, I love it, but I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, just be a colonel. We'll yes, sir. The SAS motto, who dares wins. I wonder how many times That's it took. I like to hear. All right, Lieutenant, Wait a yours. second. Am I please clicking? Please My brain's clicking on who's voice acting. And please tell James to drop by for a drink sometime. Is it on who? Okay, you two, let's go. Uh, one of the main two yes, dudes. Sir. Yes, sir. Operation Darkness. Yeah, you can look it up if you want. I'm pretty sure one of them is Yuri Lowenthal. Well, lads, any questions we can answer for you? Can you tell us where you're taking us? To Tobruk. Tobruk? But I thought that was under enemy control. It is. As Colonel Stalling said, many of our missions entail infiltrating enemy territory. So during your first couple of months with the unit, be trained in all matters of covert operations. Yes, I was correct. My boy Liam O'Brien is a uh, Jude. Huh. Ah. He's in every fucking video game. Like I there's yes. just something about this era that's all the work that he did was video games. 
It was a lucrative time. They had like 10 people on file for every single <laughs> dub of a Japanese game that they just, you know, rang, rang up. Mm -hmm. Major Gallant? Yes. Oh, and I should mention, you've been promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. Uh, but, I. The entire English what? voice cast is uncredited for this game? That's scummy. Yeah, it's it's one of those. <laughs> Also, I love how one person voiced Hitler and then apparently a random scientist and also Jack the Ripper. They just gave him yeah. all those roles. Yeah, I mean, Jack fair. the Ripper, why what are we doing? <laughs> okay, it's just making me ask more this. questions the more I look up about this. It's time to replace their shitty guns. You tell me a revolver is not good? Let's put it this way. If he has to pull out the revolver at any point, he's already bowed. How funny is it stabbing people in this game? Uh, some characters, that is literally their build. Is this the run up and shank? Yes. Awesome. Okay, what do I get to work with? Right, that's the only one to start with. I might as well put that on everyone. Effectively, the most important skill in the game. So long as you have a healing item on you, you could drop to zero HP, you'll still auto-use a health item. And it saves you from just dying? Yep, most important skill in the game. You pretty much automatically have this on every character. So, is it... Is there, like, semi-perma-death, -perm where, like, if a named character dies, you can't use them in battle anymore, but they still appear in cutscenes? I think so? Right, you did manage to find another grenade. Good for you. Uh, get rid of that one. Keep both of those. Uh, there are two things that are the most important stat in the game, in my opinion. Speed and weight. Because this game has the turn timer, which goes mm -hmm. off of how quick your character is and how loaded down they are. So the higher your speed and the lower your total weight, the more turns you get. Which is I why see. it is entirely viable to have a character that has nothing but a knife. Because a knife weighs nothing. I would imagine so. Yeah, one way. So they could just go like ten times and shank everyone. Yeah, so here's the main character. Mm -hmm. He's, Beavis, you know, right? for the moment, he's just going to have that Thompson. That's going to be his main gun for a while because it's the best we've got, really. He's just a normal guy. Nothing wrong with him right now. Yep, same with Jude. This is normal. He has a heavy machine gun right now. I'm probably about to check the armory real quick, though, once I'm done looking through these characters and get him something lighter because with a heavy machine gun, he's going to get a turn once every century. Yeah, he, he nah. has 94 weight of equipment. That's that's a lot. Yeah. And we've got Cordelia. She's going to be... You do not need that many healing items, girl. She's just going to be kind of similar to the main character at first. She's just <laughs> going to be running around shooting people. Then we've got uh, Old man. our wonderful commander. He, he has a, a bazooka. Yeah, he has a bazooka oh. and a bunch of rockets. That, he's one of our anti-tank people, along with Keith who also has a bazooka and a ton of rockets. I don't know how I feel about an old man holding a bazooka. That has to be bad for his back. It's fine. And then we've got another heavy machine gun guy. Uh, Frank! Frank seems cool. Yeah, seems like I keep him dude. with the heavy machine gun. Yeah, he's, he's a pretty cool dude. And we have our sniper. Who the hell is she? <laughs> well, you'll find her. We'll, we meet her in a moment in a bit anyway and then finally we have our medic i don't i'm not gonna lie i don't i wouldn't like that guy like patching me up like there's something about his face that makes me concerned about him patching up my body from bullet wounds yeah that's the right uh that's the right mindset because he is uh whenever he speaks he's kind of creepy okay cool anyway we can also recruit just a whole bunch of randos too is there a benefit for doing that? Can you kind of, like, mold them into anything you want? Kind of. Like, all of them have certain stat lines based on the character. So, like, 
all of the women characters will have the same stats, but then this guy has different stats, and then this guy has slightly different stats too. Like, it's because they look slightly different, or one of them yeah. is looking up and the other one's looking down. Yeah, these ones are the ones that are more tanky and slower. They have higher attack and defense, but lower speed. These are the guys that are faster and get more turns. They have less health, too. And then all of the women are the same, and they kind of have in the middle of the road speed. But they are also the ones that are allowed to have sniper rifles, which is hilarious. And I remember on the first mission, one of the guys, was it was it the lieutenant or was it sergeant? That was the sergeant that was on the mission was Sergeant Frost. So clearly this is his sister that wants revenge. I see. Well, it could be his daughter, too. Like, I mean, know. I don't know how old he is. That's true. Uh, what if we got to work with at first? Uh, at least we have one. Jesus Christ. That's fine. And what else do we got? Kill um, points. Yeah. You get to buy more stuff based on how many kills and stuff you've gotten and things. Mm. So that's how you can kind of grind. We However, rewarded for our violence. Yeah. However, everything in here in the supply depot, of course, has a limited stock and supply, and it resupplies in between major plot beats i think oh i see so if you want to like stock up on shit you got to get it before you do the next mission so it can reset yep anyway since i don't want to leave her with nothing but her pistol we're gonna give her the grant for now what if we just give her five grenades i mean i could but that's <laughs> i don't have that many grenades damn <laughs> And that's that. Anyway, it's good to have at least one mook because uh, in a lot of the missions, they'll either give you just enough slots or like you'll be able to put one unit extra plus all of your important named characters. Yeah. So having at least one na random mook that's just tagging along that's just like, I just got here and all I have is a gun. Especially with some of the later bullshit that ends up getting thrown around, which is hilarious. Anyway, gotta do this, because, you know, progress is important to keep. But, you know, we'll, we'll raise Frost in order for her to get her revenge. Yes, so, Tutabrook. Behind enemy lines. Four months pass since oh, more footage. Join the wolf pack after their Every major story beat does this, region. yeah. No, I don't know if this is just lazy or. October twenty third marks the beginning. We need something uh, to put in the background while the narrator gives all the exposition. Why don't we just get like you know World War Two footage? That that'll work, right? But it's a it's an five miles long. A uh, like an anime game. Just do it anyways. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, they have actual cutscenes and stuff that go on, too, but it's like, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, you can't tell if it, this is lazy or if this is technically pretty smart, because it's like, technically, this is pretty good. Wow, we're up there, I think. <laughs> we're there somewhere. Are we no, we're, foot? we're in... We're not in any of that. We're uh, we're oh. going to Tobruk, which is behind enemy lines. Oh, so we're we're nowhere in this plan that they're giving us uh, the history report on. Yes. I see. Because we operate what? in the darkness. What is the, what does this do for us? <laughs> I don't know. That's us! That's us! They yes. said it, they, they mentioned us! Oh, it's just for the last sentence. Yes. They're like, also, the game is happening, uh, by the way. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, we'll infiltrate the German headquarters located outside Tobruk. 
Sir, why are you holding binoculars? We're inside. Sir? You never know when you're going to need them. But what are you... <gasps> she speaks. But who? It's a German physicist doing on the front lines. According to SIS, Footner came to North Africa to visit his old friend Rommel. Mm -hmm. He ran into our counteroffensive and has been left stranded outside Zerbrook. And what's so important about this? Oh, that we'd run the risk of infiltrating enemy territory to capture him. Do you Cynthia's all... Irish, don't you know? I was more distracted by her just casually having a sniper rifle over her shoulder to recognize her voice acting. Don't worry, she's the sniper. She always has one. Yeah, I can tell. She's very clearly the sniper of the group. I wonder what <laughs> gives that away. As much information from him as possible about the new weapon he's working on. And what kind of weapon would that be? By the way, we have a new outfit. Cool, we got the wolf logo. We also have such a popped collar. Look at how popped it is. God, we're edgy. A new type of bomb that if fully we're just rebelling, you know. We're at that point city. in our puberty stage. An entire city. Vampire puberty? Impossible. Werewolf puberty. So. I'm just going to assume it's one of the two. <laughs> but which one? Who knows? Takes to capture Footner and learn what we can about this bomb. I, mean, I feel like if we were a werewolf, they could just... That would, you know, wolf's back. Now we'll be traveling by land. The operation will so... <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That's I don't know why I didn't though. connect those dots. Whatsoever. All right. We're finally going back to the front. We're all werewolves here, we besides Jude. Jude's just, just a man. Oh, uh, yeah, by the way, be prepared for casual racism. Cool. Yeah, it's about time, mate. Let's make them pay for London. Just casual racism. That's that's what I look forward to in my JRPGs. You tickets are done chatting, but I suggest you get your gear packed. If you're not ready on time, we'll leave you both behind. Yes, sir. I love how it says they both said that. You could only hear the main character. Dude, doesn't matter. <laughs> this is the village. Ah, story of his life. Oh, we're going past the foot that I was pointing out. Oh. Building where he's residing. They'll be outfitted with tanks and armored vehicles, so be careful. And remember, we need Footner alive. Do not destroy the building he's in. Damn. Okay, back to your posts, everyone. Oh, I could have brought two people. Whoops. Well, now we know. It's fine. I would not have had a gun to give him. It's fine. Frost, it's it's fine. Frost, you gotta carry the weight of two men. I know you're a scrawny girl looking for revenge, but you have to carry the weight of two men in our squad, or you probably will die. I mean, there's a high likelihood you're gonna die anyways, but just, like, gotta pull your weight, you know? Yeah. I, I believe in her. What the fuck is this music? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the music choice is interesting. Yeah, we're gonna badass kill all these people. He Why did the... this with a pistol. Let's move out. Remember, this is a stealth operation. It's just... <laughs> Shoots his revolver. I feel like you could got into position. I don't trust our captain anymore. <laughs> don't worry. This is how our <laughs> stealth operations usually we stealth up to the point, and then we make the loudest noise possible. Yep. Any wolf pack member? Take down the well, Frost, I have some bad news for you. <laughs> oh, God, they have tanks? Yeah, but we have multiple anti-tanks, but we'll be fine. Okay. This is, you know, I remember what happened last time we saw a tank. It was not, it was not fun. All the hat people died. They really did use those hats to signify between main characters and just random NPCs that don't matter. Because even Frost has a hat. 
Yep. Also, huh? Are they that close? Wow, they're that close. Hmm. Duck foot. I mean, if they're already this close, I might as well. Yeah, those are the odds that you like to see. Ow. Yay! He's stronger! In this unit, we cover each other's he murdered! That's supposed to be like the tutorial thing for use the cover system, you fool. At which point I go, but I can shoot people. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't even know how the covering works. Uh, I swear to god, there is a zoom in and out button, and I cannot remember it for the life of me. You kind of zoomed out there. Now it's just top down, which is not helping you. Yeah, and you're just gonna go this way. Does all missions start with us just being wide out in the open? Not always. Oh. She doesn't usually miss. So I shouldn't feel bad about all this murder because of uh, the mean Nazis, right? It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Oh my god, the amount of damage no. from that thing. Yeah, no, I don't want to target the infantry. There we go. Why is this only 90%? Whatever. Oh, how do you miss a bazooka fire? <laughs> you can. Trust me. Does this just fly off in the distance and hit something else? Like... Yeah. Okay. Now for a flurry of movement, thanks to the cover system. What does the cover do? Like, is it just like if someone like triggers like an overwatch attack, it just will hit randomly target between people or? Um, not exactly. Like, oh shit, this is not going to kill it one shot. Hmm. I'm sure it's fine. No one will die. Sure. Go for us, my gal. I believe in you. You can't let her die. I know she's the only one that can die in this situation. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he has one Frost. health. Oh, thank God tanks are inaccurate. Ow. Oh There's my god, it's jerking first. around. It's making me sick. <laughs> yeah, it does that a lot. Ah! <laughs> I think we were inside someone for a moment there. <laughs> There's nothing on the inside. There's nothing there. You know, this game, like, walks so, like, Valkyrie Chronicles can, like, run, I feel like. Because I feel yeah. like Valkyrie Chronicles looked at this and was like, all right, let's make it where you can actually see what is happening. <laughs> Pretty much. I do love how only three people have reported how long it took them to beat this game on howlongtobeat.com. Only three. That is a testament to how many people have beaten this game. Three. <laughs> We're here for the long ride, baby. 
Hitler will die at the hands of Frost. I have a feeling Frost will probably die um, by the time this is over. I imagine there's no like, oh, they get knocked down and then you, they just gotta recover. I imagine they're just dead. No, there is a revival gimmick later, but... Hmm, I see. You know, I understand, like, the smoke and the cloud effect that they're putting over it. It makes it a lot more, like, immersive because they're in a sandy desert, right? But for the love of God, I can't see what the fuck is happening with the, the cloud over everything. Yeah. You shot it, man. Level up. Don't worry. That Cynthia's entire job is to move to a point where she can hit several people and stay there and as, spam like, the <laughs> Sniper. I'll leave the one health dude for Frost to finish off, because it looks like she'll be able to, so it's fine. Um, hello there. I wonder if I can... <laughs> I don't like that laugh. What are you... Are you point-blank shooting a guy with a rocket? What, what are you... It's not letting me auto acquire it, so let me check. Oh, there must be like a tree in the way or something. There's something that's yeah, blocking damn. it. That would have been that would have been very cheeky of you to sh <laughs> shoot a rocket around the corner. Very. Guys, you guys hear, like, gunfire or something? And then just explode <laughs> immediately before they can even, like, figure out what's going on. Wow. Uh, grab some souvenirs. Is that what we're calling it? Can we loot bodies? Souvenirs? Are you standing yes. right next to the tank? I feel like that's not a great... Oh. Double kill. Wow. Good job, Frank. Yeah, old man. I think I hit it. There's no recoil or any... Nothing? <laughs> nope. Damn, the calves on that man. So he hasn't spoke yet. He didn't speak earlier in the scene, right? The medic? Yeah, no, he has not yet. Okay. I, I'm happy it showed us that he hit the ground far away where no one was around. Yeah! Let's be dramatic. I was so waiting for it to miss. <laughs> she did only have 95%. Execution. Should we be concerned about her, uh, like, boss? We saw Frost just executing people. Um, oh, wow. She hit? In the battlefield. Good job. Should we, should we be concerned about her executing people? Like, I feel like that's a war crime that we should bring up. Nah. You just hear gunfire and crying in the background as she just starts executing everyone. That's kind of annoying. Everyone's hiding from Jude. Would you hide from Jude? Eh, fair. Oh, 72. Come on, man. I mean, I at least they can't they shoot either.
See, I feel like this is not a bad game. Like, sitting here watching you kill. It's not a bad game. It, it feels fine. But why has no one heard of it? Like, does it just get absurd later? Yeah. It seems like it's yeah. a normal World War II video game. Oh, I love there how the guy's go. body was blocking your... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he body block for them. Anyway, good day. I don't think it's gonna matter. Oh. They didn't deserve that. They or had a family they? key. He got a double level up for that. He murdered three times. I see, after you deal with the tanks, the bazookers are kind of busted. Little bit. Ah, oh, you can't get all three. Odds. Hmm. Let's see if I miss. Yup. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Was that the mission important? Okay, good. That was not the mission important building. <laughs> that uh. would have been funny. That would have been funny if you just the mission ended because you missed the yeah. rocket. <laughs> it just kills the. Not the first time that's <laughs> happened. Just out of range, fine. You get shot normally. Yeah, we, they're pain. We have to, like, draw it out, you know? It can't be just instant. That's no fun. You gotta make them suffer. I can't believe it's not suffering. <laughs> what else would it be, though? <laughs> Oh, water, that's Ooh, MP40. Eh, the mouse is terrible. Uh, water is a consumable thing that will be useful later, but is for the moment useless. I see. Yeah, you can get to. Yeah. Oh, does, like, the heavy weapons have, like, a spread on them where you can hit multiple yep. people when you shoot? That's oh. the trade-off, effectively. Heavy weapons have a bigger area of effect spread for hitting multiple targets. That's nice. Whereas, like, base guns have a very smaller range. She ain't gonna Yeah, that. even that gun has, hell? like, a... Damn. Cortelli has been hitting some really far odds, and I'm not gonna complain. She's doing good. Frost. <laughs> Come on, Frost. Yeah, and I think the Thompson has a slightly better area of effect than because it hits like a little extra tile or two. Yeah. There are only two left. Yeah, there's two left, and I know exactly where they are. I want to get the sniper rifle off of this man, so the other guy gets to keep living for now. Oh. Ugh. If he did live from that, he's surely going to drown in that pit. I'm assuming that was water, and I'm not just hallucinating. It's very hard to tell. That's water. Water recovers. Yeah, water recovers. Yeah, water recovers MS, which... Magic? Uh, yeah. Do we get the magic? No, MS oh. is... Like, everyone has a blue bar. No one can use it right now. I wanted to just, like, cast Fireball at people. Who needs a <laughs> bazooka when you can just cause them to explode? I mean, that'd be pretty funny. Ooh, medkit. That's better than a painkiller. Now 
Now it's just time to loot, I guess. Yeah, this is traditional on early levels, is just to run up and grab everything that's not nailed down. Yeah, Jeep's fine. Take the shot. He's just trying to get EXP for the sniper, is that what's happening here? No, I'm trying to get the sniper rifle from that corpse, but no uh... one's close enough except for Beavis, I think, to actually get to the damn guy. Yes. 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 Barely, gee. Good job, Beavis. There we go. I drops. Yeah, they're good for a sniper, I guess, but like. Can you imagine being in the middle of a war I mean. zone and it's like, hold on, it's like, uh, sniper, take the shot. It's like, hold on, I gotta put my eye drops in real quick. Take the shot! <laughs> but my eyes are just a little dry. I don't care! Shoot him! <laughs> Revenge! That was obsessive. <laughs> you didn't she have to go out that level. way, man. Yeah. We did it. Woo. Mission to complete. And we did blow up the important house, thankfully. Okay, time for plot. Plot? You out there? Plot? Wait, no, that was the house! <laughs> Why did it not... Okay. <laughs> Why did it kill me? What is the meaning of this? Who are you, know, you, know, you know what time it is? I think, I think plot is a next time. Ah, next what? time. Dude, I haven't done a Let's Play since 2015. <laughs> yeah, and I was I like 16. <laughs> and it was mainly me screaming over Donkey Kong. I mean, it's Donkey Kong. <laughs>